that sequence, which is 14 in octal, that's 12 instructions. Right. So all this one is doing is cleaning the accumulator to start it, then it loads uh, a 7 into the accumulator, which is 3 bits lit, and then it goes through a, a loop within a loop. The outer loop just rotates the accumulator left through the link and back again, so it's rotating. Um, and the inner loop is just a delay loop. It's just executing three or four no-ops, and each time it does the three or four no-ops, it decrements the counter. Um, it's a 12-bit counter when it gets to zero. It goes back into the outer loop and does one more iteration, and so on. What Otherwise, does it would just be far too quick to see. What does the top line of LEDs showing you there? Well, the top line is always the address, and the bottom line is um, either the contents of the accumulator or one of the other registers or the data in the address that's shown on the lights or some status and, and this switch controls what it's showing so that's the data that's being read out across the bus and you can see some of them are brighter than others because those are always ones and those are sometimes zeros yeah. so they're a bit dimmer um, there's nothing in the other register that's the actual data on the bus itself rather than the data being read out of memory locations which would be the instructions. That's the machine status and you can see that light represents the link register which is the carry bit in effect. Right. And this one is the machine state so uh, these don't really have much significance for much in the way of programs. These have to do with interrupts and they're all on, which means the interrupts are locked out at the moment. Right. Um, that's the data direction on the bus. Uh, I can't remember what those do. That one is that switch, which you can read under program control. So you've got vast amounts of I.O. on this <laughs> machine. <laughs> and so on. In fact, there's actually a little program that um, does the rotating stuff, uh, but with only one bit. Uh, it's called duck shoot, and the idea is that you try to hit the switch just as the bit passes the centre. Right. And if you if you get it, it stops and right. flashes the lights. <laughs> so why is the memory address not changing? Is it literally running one instruction? Uh, well, at the moment. Uh, well, no, it, it actually is, but it's running in such a tight loop that those ones are actually slightly oh, right. dimmer, but Can't not enough that you can read right. tell okay. the things. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> Excellent. So if I stop it, you see they get just a little bit brighter? Yeah. We've cheated on this machine as well. Um, this one originally had bulbs in it like that one. The deck went through three different production phases with these. The first ones had bulbs. The last one was designed specifically for LEDs. And this one, which is the one in the middle, um, was designed to use LEDs but in the bulb board. So it's got a modified board right. and it's got LEDs in its place. Now Jim has a machine like this like, well, like that one, but unfortunately, over the years, different people have put different bulbs in it. So he's got about five different kinds of bulbs, some of which are too bright, one or two of which are right, but the majority of them are too dim, and in fact, some are too dim to see at all. Right. So it's not very useful. And right. I said to him on one occasion, you should either get the right bulbs or we could convert it to LEDs properly. And he wasn't having the idea of LEDs because he said they wouldn't look right. Yeah. In fact, that's what all the eights I've ever seen look like, right. apart from one or two. So I experimented with lots of different LEDs, um, mainly to see if, if other things looked sensible, because originally they would all be red in those days. And uh, I tried green ones and blue ones and went back to red. But in the process, I discovered that yellow ones look quite convincing. Yeah. Uh, is that an LED in that one there? Then? No, those are, those are all That's bulbs. That's still a bulb and it looks yeah. virtually the same, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so really we should modify Jim's and put yellow LEDs. 